Benchmade Mini Griptilian. This is the Doug Ritter RSK MK1 version of the 558. It has a different blade shape, upgraded steel to the M390. This is really nice. One problem that I have with this knife, and I always have had with these Griptilians, is these handles. I do not like these handles. I'm kind of a handle scale snob, if you haven't figured that out yet. So, what we're going to do today is get out the little towel, swap these scales out. If you go Custom Grips and Scales, Death Grips by Ryan M. Roberts. So, right here we have some blue and black G10 scales we're going to swap. Now, one thing that I did differently with this is I intend on keeping this with me a lot. So I ordered, you can get right-handed or left-handed clip scales or both or none for the clip. I opted for the left hand and I've got to learn to open this efficiently with my left hand. So I put the clip on the left side and was playing with it a little bit, but we're going to quickly change these out. One thing that you're going to see is it's quite an upgrade. Instead of having a closed back, it's going to add these standoffs. So let's get started. The first thing to do is let's remove this clip. This is a T6 screw for all these clips. We'll get this off. Then these screws go to the liner. These screws are attaching to the other side of this handle. I don't really consider these scales, they're more of the grip or the handle. Because it's one unit screwing together. So, once we get these out, we will work on this liner. Releasing the sides from the liner. This does come with new screws. So I'm going to keep these screws around and make sure I don't need them before I get rid of them. And I'll probably hold on to them forever with this grip in case for some reason I ever decide to put it back on. Then I can. No point in throwing it away. Sometimes these screws just don't want to pop out. There's one. Now this other side. One this death grips that we ordered. He makes them in about 30 different versions. And they're all awesome. I kind of have a thing for G10. And the black was cool. But adding the blue to it gives it some depth. So I decided to go with that. And we'll see what we think when this is over. Now this comes apart. I've never done this. I've looked at it closely enough to know how it goes back together. You can see the access lock spring here. We'll put this side on. And what I'm going to do is just attach the liners to this scale first. And then we'll go about putting the standoffs, the barrel spacers, back in. I think that we're supposed to use these original 
screws for this lot to attach this liner. One thing I know is we don't want to tighten it completely together because we want to tighten it all evenly. So I'm just going to put those in to kind of hold them in place. Now I have this little nut is what's holding the flat end of that. You can see how there's a flat end by my thumb. That's what locks that screw in place. And that's how you can keep your tension on the blade deploying in place. Don't cut yourself. What we don't want to do is lose anything and it's easier if we keep if you keep this access lock pushed down so now that I kind of have it semi lined up I'm hoping we can just get that right back in there it's really close for lined up I have one I don't know if you can see what I'm struggling with here. Probably not. It's just the bushing. Okay, so that's in place. Let's just get this pivot screw lined up. So now I don't have to sit and fight with reassembling the entire thing. It's basically all the parts are where they're supposed to be. Now we can put in the screws for this scale. And like I said, I'm not going to tighten these down. I'm just going to put them in far enough to lock the liners in position. They're nested liners. I already like that so much better. Now this has three screws that are holding these together. This kit only has two, so it's going to be very clean. I'm excited about how this is going to look. I have never put one of these on before. So far I think it's going pretty well. I'm going to use these just little pliers to put this in place. Yeah, that's going to work nice. I'm going to do a review of this knife, a full review later on. But I want to get it to where, to a position that I want to carry it in, a condition that I want to carry it in. So, because you have to love what you're carrying. That's the whole fun of it. And we are on the right track for creating something that I'm going to really enjoy. I emailed Ryan Roberts a little bit back and forth with some questions. He was very responsive. He had no idea what I was doing with this. I didn't tell him. He didn't know I was going to do a review or a video of installing it. He just thought I was a customer. So, but I guess that's good because I, you're getting a genuine response from a guy that is just making these things for the same reason you're watching this video and the same reason I'm doing the video because we all kind of just love this stuff. Maybe someday it'll be our real job. That's the goal. I think I should have put this one in first. There. This is going together very nice, actually. A couple of the other knives that I've replaced scales on, they can go pretty difficult to get some things in and out. It's 
screws loosened. This is all milled to his very, very, very close. Better than, I've got some knives that have scales like this that come from the factory and these are every bit as nice as those that are coming from Benchmade. Okay, now let's tighten this, these spacers down. There are some extra screws in case we need them. Okay, now the pivot screw. See how tight, that's tight. After I'm done with all this, I am gonna go back and take one screw out at a time and put some green Loctite in it. Blade centering, nice. This is going a lot quicker than I thought. Make sure those liners are all snug. Look at that. Now it's not centered. Long screw, I need the T10. It's a little tight still. Death Grips by Ryan Roberts. I like them. I'm gonna put this clip back on now. One second. Be right back. Now, as far as this clip goes, you can see where it's going to sit. That is not my favorite. It's going to stick up high in my pocket. That's kind of the boring Benchmade USA pocket clip. I mean, it works good, but what you can do is email Benchmade's customer service. They will send you, free of charge, clips that you request. So I requested a bunch of these deep carry clips. Don't cost you anything. It took about two weeks for them to get them to me. But that's going to sit way better in the pocket. I'm going to love that. So, let's get this attached. Then we can really start playing with it. It's actually probably easier to put the screws in the clip itself. This is very exciting for you to watch. Putting a clip on. But if you're like me, it's just kind of fun to watch this type of thing. And that's probably why you're watching. I have seen some aftermarket pocket clips, but they don't have the cool, like, I'm a factory, I like OEM looking. See, I have the Benchmade Butterfly. That's gonna sit, that's, why don't they send it like that from the factory? Look at that. Oh, look, it needs some adjustment. I'm gonna lube it up, Loctite the screws, play with the blade centering a little bit, but for the most part, I think you're gonna be excited for the full review of this, because I am really liking that. Death Grips, Ryan Roberts, ryanmroberts at hotmail.com. You can email him, he can send you links to what he offers. I've never found a website. It was just all through email, so, but I recommend this so far. Okay, well, once again, Scarlet, did you hang out with us again? Okay, good puppy. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.